Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel about the Redmi Note 9 Pro. This is a 128 gigabyte phone that a friend gave to me that he really wanted to use, but he destroyed the super partition while trying to flash GSI ROMs to it. GSI ROMs are not safe. <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing, don't flash a GSI. So he destroyed the super partition, and with that went... Um, any ability to bring this thing back from the dead that he could figure out. And what ended up happening was when he destroyed the super partition, it didn't matter what actual uh, method he used for trying to flash the stock firmware. If he tried to do it with the unlocked bootloader, that wouldn't work. If he tried to do it with ADB sideload and recovery, which he had Orange Fox recovery on it, that didn't work. I tried putting stock recovery back, that wouldn't work. There was no way that we could seemingly get this back to stock firmware but then i discovered something called ubuntu touch which i had already known about i've used it before i think it's a really cool operating system that's out there and exists because it is a complete um complete change from android it's a full ubuntu desktop basically in the palm of your hand on your phone and I remembered that Xiaomi phones, a lot of the times, they make they port Ubuntu Touch to them once the bootloaders are unlocked. So I went and I checked the website, and sure enough, I did find that the Note 9 Pro had the ability with just a f only one or uh, three or four things not working, basically. So the only things that don't work are wireless external display, don't don't care about it, FM radio, don't care about it, hotspot, kind of works, um, partial. There's some issues. That's a global issue, apparently. And NFC. Don't care about it. Everything else here on Ubuntu Touch works. It's based on lineage, but it's a super heavy overhaul to the point that it's just uh, Ubuntu, basically. And it runs very well, surprisingly. So I took a look at this, and I downloaded their installer for it. So I could run it on my computer and I figured, you know what, what the hell, let's give my friend back an interesting phone because he can't use it anyway. And what's really funny is, like I said, doing uh, OTA over ADB sideload would not restore the OS. Doing fast boot flashing uh, with the unlocked bootloader to get the stock firmware to work did not work. You know what did work? Flashing the Ubuntu Touch brought the entire system back. So let me go over what I did. So first of all, you want to boot to your unlocked bootloader and then run the Ubuntu Touch installer. Very simple to do. Um, you only have to follow a couple steps and then it will open up. It does have this little zip file that it extracts, but as you can see, my device is unlocked, although I am not in the bootloader, I am going to reboot bootloader. I'm rebooting to the bootloader right now. My device is unlocked, and it'll ask me, okay, what OS do I want? And I want Ubuntu Touch, obviously. So install, I'm going to wipe user data, and I'm going to go with the stable version. I'm already in bootloader. And at least when this thing was busted, fast boot reboot recovery for some reason didn't work. So it made me do it manually. But in all honesty, that's not a huge deal. As you can see, it's for me at the moment is currently rebooting to recovery. And in the background, this installer is downloading the firmware files. So at the moment, I'm waiting for it to reboot to the Ubuntu Touch custom recovery which now it's booted to. ADB sideload is always constantly running on the Ubuntu recovery, which is really nice. It's going through. It's basically just pushing the files to the device. And then once it's done pushing the files to the device, it basically reboots and it finishes installing the Ubuntu Touch firmware or uh, operating system to the device. And you're good to go. You have your Ubuntu device in your pocket. I have Verizon here in the United States. I can't use this phone even if I want to. So I have not been able to test cell cellular connectivity because 
the cellular bands just straight up don't match with Ubuntu Touch. Or with this Redmi, I believe. I am going to pull an essential phone out of my desk, because I have like five or six of them. Um, I want to know if the essential phone has the option. I'm really surprised by that. The 6 and 6T. I do have a spare 6T. Hmm. What else do I have that's on this list, though? Because I don't want to do it to my 6T. It's mostly Xiaomi's. I'm really surprised. S7 Edge? Really? The Moto Z2 Force? That makes no sense at all, but okay. The Galaxy S10. Ooh. Note 4, S5. I do have an S5. Damn. Almost none of the devices on this list I have. What about Let me just search Galaxy in case I missed it. No, it's not on here. I was hoping it would be on here for the Note 10, but it's not. But right now this device is rebooting. I'm really surprised the Essential phone's not on here. Ubuntu Touch Essential Phone. Ubuntu Touch Ports. This is just how I figure things out. Honestly, there's, it's not here. That's unfortunate. What else do they have? I'm just going to look at this while I wait. Anyway, so now that this is completely rebooted to Ubuntu Touch, here's where the fix came in. That The installer for the Ubuntu Touch, somehow it fixes the partitions on the device. I don't know what they're doing in this to make it work, but it fixes the partitions. So you'll see this boot.img right here. This boot.img is actually Orange Fox Recovery. So what I have to do is I turn this off on the Ubuntu Touch, power off, and then what I do is I unplug the USB cable, I hold volume down, and I insert the USB cable back in, and that takes me into the bootloader fast boot mode. Keep in mind, the bootloader is already unlocked on this device. Oh, come on. Go to the bootloader. Apparently, it wasn't turned off yet. There we go. I am in bootloader now. So if I go fast boot devices, it's right there. So fast boot slash recovery, because this device still has recovery for some reason. And I hit that. It flashes the recovery. I wasn't able to do this initially when the super partition was even broke. Like, it just broke pretty much everything. I don't know what the Ubuntu Touch installer does that fixes this, but this is the Ubuntu Touch installer right here. So this is pulled directly out of that EXE, and I'm sure I could figure it out if I just dug through this. Here's the UB ports installer. I can probably open this up in... Um, DN spy or something like that and see what the source code might be for this but this is a hundred megabytes holy shit this is a crazy file okay not as easy as I thought anyway something about this exe resets the partitions on this device I don't know what it is I couldn't get it to do it even with Xiaomi's own downloadable firmware for flashing in the bootloader did not work. But now that I flashed the recovery, I can do fast boot, reboot, recovery. This goes into the orange fox recovery. I can then ADB sideload the official OTA file, and that will put MUI, if that's how you say it, MUI, um, will put MUI right back on this device, the stock firmware. And you're good to go. One thing I did do is I did open this up. I deleted this boot.img, the stock one, and I put Orange Fox back in because I wanted to have the safety of the custom recovery in case something went wrong. So I'm going to go in, slide to enable ADB sideload, and just drag this to here. And now it's flashing the stock firmware. This will complete 
on its own in about 10 to 15 minutes. It takes a pretty long time because MUI is a gigantic system. But once this is done, the device will reboot. It's completely as if it was factory, except for the fact it has Orange Fox uh, bootloader. And we're good to go. So, really easy fix, really strange fix. But I wanted to post this up here because of the strange brick that I had. Just in case there is even one person out there that this can help. So, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out. Also, I'm not doing game hacking videos anymore. Don't ask for those. But if you do have ideas for videos, let me know because I'll do them because I want to make videos again. I got my setup back, so we're good.